I live in a city called Ely, about 15 miles from Cambridge itself, a nice part of the uh, east of England uh, that we call the Fens, very flat. And when the wind blows, it comes straight across from Russia, nothing to stop it. So it gets pretty chilly sometimes. Now I was uh, working as a product manager. My job moved uh, north. I didn't want to move north. I sort of semi-retired. I'm just doing some consultancy work in the financial services sector. And at weekend, I run around on a football pitch refereeing. So that keeps me fit and healthy and it's good fun. So I do, um, I do men, women and uh, what they call cults, which is under 19s. Uh, so we got, you know, quite a range. I, I did a, an under 10 game last weekend and I was nearly tripping over the players as they huddle around after the ball. I enjoyed it a lot. The day I don't enjoy it, I'll stop doing it. But, and as long as I can keep up with the players, that'll do me. Oh, um, I was when I was at, at school up till about uh, 16, 17. I was a right winger. So I used to play for, uh, for, for the school, but that was about, that was about my level. Um, I do some, some stuff at home, especially with, after lockdown came, you couldn't go to the gym anymore. Uh, so I just got some, some kits at home and I do a few workout routines that, uh, that I have on video feeds. I lost a bit of motivation, I think, like so many others did. Running wise, I like to run through purpose. So the refereeing is good for that. Sometimes over a weekend, I'll do three or four matches. So, But I do, uh, I, like, I like walking and hiking. Uh, most of it's genetics, I think. I really take after my dad. He was the same physique. Um, I've been the same size since I was 18 as I am now. I used to race motorbikes for a while as, a, as an amateur club racer. And I still get in my leathers from those days. Um, they're a bit more worn out than I am, I, I'm, I'm pleased to say. I can eat pretty much what I like. I tend to cook most evenings. I might have the occasional fish and chips on the Friday. Very traditional here in the UK, of course. That's probably just over a year and a bit now. A couple of friends said, oh, you should, you should be on Instagram. And started off just taking what I called a series of standard underwear poses. And then a local artist went in touch and said, you know, would you like to come and model for me? Still looking forward to doing my first live live modeling session hopefully now that things are improving here in the uk artists can get back together but in the meantime zoom's keeping us all going um, i think certainly in terms of body confidence yes i mean i've always been slim and skinny as some people might say um and sometimes that's not a most attractive feature but um, i've learned to appreciate myself a bit more through that to express myself a little bit more i mean i'm relatively introverted but the life modeling enables you to bring a different type of personality to the experience. When you're, when you're coming up with poses, it's just left to your imagination and interpretation. And I think you can express yourself and your personality through that. You know, I have to say the quality of artists that you get in these groups is amazing. And uh, I just love seeing the way different people take the same view because of course with a zoom session everybody gets exactly the same view i don't paint or draw myself i can do doodles so it's really good to see just how people do translate what they're seeing through their camera into a beautiful piece of art